Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Welsh Allen PC-based ECG machine. This film has been designed to show you what you get when you buy our ECG, how to take resting and rhythm ECGs, and look at some of the features of the CardioPerfect software. But first, let's look at the components. When you buy the ECG, you get the unit itself, a 5 meter USB cable to connect the unit to the PC or laptop, a patient cable, Welsh Allen software which should be loaded to the PC or laptop on which you're going to do the ECG, a full installation guide is available from your Welsh Allen distributor. There's a crocodile clip, one to go on each end of the patient cable and finally a starter pack of ECG electrodes. But for the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm going to be using an ECG simulator. This isn't part of the kit. Once you've prepared your patient, taking an ECG is really simple. To do this, connect the black USB cable to the black port on the top of the ECG. Now this can be done if the black arrow is on the top of the cable and the collar on the inside of the cable points inwards. It goes into the port like that. The same is true of the patient cable. This time there's a white arrow on top of the cable and again the collar on the inside of the cable points inwards. Those cables won't fit to the ECG any other way. Now connect the USB cable to your PC and go into the CardioPerfect software. Double click on the icon and if the patient hasn't had an ECG before, click on patient in the top left hand corner of the screen. When the patient record card appears, fill in the patient ID number, NHS or other, the last name, the first name, the gender and the birth date and then click OK. Their details go into the memory and they'll be there next time the patient comes in for another test. If the patient has had an ECG before, you can find the patient's details in the database. To do this, use the search facility in the top left hand corner of the screen. If you click into search, you can search for the patient's name by surname and clicking on go and the details appear below. Highlight the patient's name and click on the ECG icon. The software then loads the module. You get a box up on screen which says new ECG and confirms the number and the name of the patient and all you need to do to take the ECG is to click OK. The traces will then appear on screen in real time. Now you can wait until these have settled down and stabilised and you're getting a good trace from each of the patient's leads and when you're happy with that you click on record in the top left hand corner of the screen and from that point the software records 10 seconds of ECG. After recording the ECG the test is automatically saved to our software and a PDF copy of the test can be sent to your file output directory and from there it can be attached to the individual's patient record. The standard format of the ECG will be three lines with four leads on each and at the bottom a lead to rhythm strip. If you'd like to look at the ECG in more detail you can zoom into the test, you can alter the height of the waveforms or edit the interpretation by clicking on the interpretation icon at the top of the screen. So that's the resting ECG, but what if you want to take a longer ECG, a rhythm ECG? Well for this you need to go back into the software and again either input or find your patient, highlight their name and again click on the ECG icon at the top of the screen. Again you get a box which says new ECG and confirm by clicking OK if the patient's details are correct. Now once again the traces appear on the screen in real time 
But to take a rhythm ECG, instead of clicking on record in the top left hand corner, click on the rhythm icon next to it. Once you've clicked on that, the software will record five minutes of ECG if you want it to. But if you want to stop the recording before then, click on the rhythm tab again. If you ever want to look at previous recordings, open the software, highlight your patient's name, and in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you'll see a list of any other tests. To view them, just highlight the one you'd like to study and it'll appear on screen. Now to look at rhythm ECGs, go back into your software, open your test in the same way, click on the rhythm tab above the ECG and use the slider bar to take you through the whole test. You can do this in four groups of three leads or two groups of six. If you need help with patient preparation or correct lead placement, there's a useful graphic in the Welsh Allen software. Go into the software, click on the help icon at the top of the screen, and from the drop down menu, select ECG, followed by electrodes IEC, and the graphic will appear on screen. That's the end of this Welsh Allen training session. Thank you for watching.